Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful, beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? It's a beautiful spring day out today, and we're going to work on some cool stuff in our game. So let me just show you from the last video what we did. So what we did is make sure you run this in release mode as well. And when you're debugging and stuff, um, shorten down the map size. So I think I, I touched on that in the last video. But anyway, what we worked with was, was rendering shit on top of other things using the stack. And now obviously this as a graphics uh, point of view doesn't look nice because the tree is totally top down and the person is from the side so it's really weird but never mind the tiles and all that shit I'm sure some of you who can draw who can make nice tiles could make something like this look pretty gorgeous right um, but anyway if you run this in debug it will work the only problem is loading this huge tile map is probably not gonna work so we probably wanna try since we're still making the game we wanna try to make sure we run this in debug mostly so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my uh, my test map here, I named it text, I don't know why. I'm just gonna open that up. And once we do that, uh, it's pretty huge. Uh, close other tabs, please. Okay, so it's a thousand, a thousand. I'm just gonna shorten down to a hundred, a hundred, uh, pretty much, because this should be a hundred, a hundred. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem if you do that. And a hundred, I don't know what, I don't remember what that is. I think that's the tile size. Anyway, there you go, just shorten that down. And then you go in here, let's just editor state CPP, and then game state CPP, when this loads up, there you go. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and initialize, where do we initialize this goddamn, here we go. So just shorten that down to 100, 100, and shorten this down here as well, and then you should be good to go. And if we run this in debug now, it shouldn't really be a problem. So this is a big thing, right? You don't probably don't want to run things in release all the time. So if you press new game now, it's probably it's going to work. It took a little while there to load up. You saw that a, few, a second or two. Uh, but 100, 100 is a lot better than 1,000, 1,000. So there you go. And a reason why that happens is if you check your properties, this is a really good thing to know. Check your properties. Uh, C++ and then you go to uh, optimization and you have uh, release selected you'll see yes enable or optimization here favor speed 02 and this is a huge optimization put on by the compiler for you when you compile your program even if you shittily write your code I mean with for loops and stuff like that the way we have done it it's not the most optimal it optimizes that for you in release mode in debug disabled it does not optimize anything okay that's why it's so much slower in debug and but in usually in debug there's also other stuff going on in the background to help you out so uh remember that there's this big difference but we're gonna keep running in debug we're gonna try to optimize stuff as we go um so there you go then the thing i want to do today the thing i want to do today is i want to check if i'm recording yes i am uh we're going to talk about actually working on the player today, all right? And there are a few things I want to do. I want to just see how we're going to do this. Now, we could make a component for leveling and, and attributes and stuff like that. That would make it easier. But the important thing I want to touch on, that is to overcomplicate your code sometimes. You, you might think separating something from a player or something like that makes sense. But sometimes you overcomplicate it, right? And I do that all the time. I always make components and shit for things that don't really need components. It just makes things a little harder on you. Things can become too fragmented, too separated, right? Sometimes you don't want to do that. I know a lot of people who might love just, you know, smallest thing. Just put that in a separate class and all and on. Don't do it always, right? Just, just try to think about it a little bit. Sometimes it's smarter to keep shit in the class uh, it, it belongs to because it probably won't be in any other class later on but a, uh, a th something like leveling we might put that on something else and it might be cool so in our case it might be cool to actually have it in a separate component so that's all I want to just touch on right there um, we could go ahead 
and make one um, a new component uh, let's see hmm but then getting the level and stuff would be two steps getting it but you know what we could we could let's do it let's just put it in here just for the teaching sake uh, let's call it um, progress no let's call it attribute component okay attribute component and it's gonna be a part of um, let's see just do that it's gonna be a part of let's put it in components right there okay oh it actually included std afx for me right there that's cool um, so I'm gonna have to think a little bit about this but before I start thinking too much about it let's open up entity as well because here is where we keep all or most of our uh, components right as as thingies so include you just want to make sure you include this here now this component is going to include the leveling system the attributes the uh, the updating of the attributes so we can just change everything here that's why i put it in a component uh, so it makes it a little easier for us to separate that out uh, attribute component there you go now these are going to be pretty annoying these two you might get them mixed up so just make sure you double check what you're actually doing, uh, what you're actually creating, which component. So attribute component. Once you do that, we're going to attribute component pointer. Attribute component. Hope I spelled that correctly. So we're going to spend a few videos just working on the component and leveling up and then adding some text tags, just some gameplay stuff, some fun stuff. More about the game, not too much GUI editor shit. Um, so I'm going to try to focus on that. Attribute component. Okay, probably want to do a void. Create attribute component. Oh my god. Okay, just keep it empty for now. Um, and then here we'll add the functions required for for that create attribute component so let's define that exit that out let's go in here it should be right here um, this attribute component new attribute component oh my god and we'll just keep it empty for now because we haven't done anything special in here yet. All you want to make sure you do is you delete all of your components as uh, this. There you go. Another cool way we could have done this is we could have had an array of components. And we have a base class called component, which all of these are uh, related to or all of these are uh, child classes to. And you can keep all the components in one array like that. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, but this is cool too. It doesn't really matter. You can, you can do it any way you want. Anything, any way you, you find more effective. So this is pretty much it. Um, well, let's see here. All right. Just the final time. Let's just etch out some shit we need in attribute components. So it's pretty much just going to be public and then um, private all right now it would be nice if we look at the animation component do I have everything in okay everything is public right everything is nicely in public um, hitbox component as well I'm guessing it's in public no it's in private hmm I would have liked I would have liked, since the components are only going to be parts of entities, it might be okay to keep them in public or protect it at least. Mm. In public, in public. So, 
You know what, we'll... we'll hmm. This might be annoying to keep stuff in private in the attribute component. So I'm going to keep everything in public. I know it's going to be like, whoa, what are you doing, man? You're going back on everything you said. But in this in this case, for the component, we're going to keep them in player. You want to be able to say player, uh, quickly get that level out. So we don't have to create a bunch of getters and setters in here. Just send shit forward, backward and forward. We don't need to do that in this case. So we're just going to do everything in public. Um, so I'm going to say leveling attributes which is going to be the core part of this and then we're going to keep the um, constructor destructors and then we're going to say functions and we're not going to need any getters and setters like i just said thankfully um, and here we go so just to etch it out really really quickly what we're going to need is an unsigned level right unsigned exp unsigned exp next for example and then maybe a unsigned uh, stat points attribute points we'll just call them attribute points to add to our attributes and then we'll have some attributes for example unsigned uh, strength I don't know what we want unsigned vitality unsigned dexterity unsigned agility just some basic ones unsigned intelligence hope I spelled that correctly anyway there you go that's a very rough uh, sketching of, of what we're going to be working with. So this component is pretty much just going to take care of all these things. And then we're going to have attributes and stats here as well. So I'm just going to put that down before I end the video. Uh, stats. And I will keep working on this in the next video, all right? But there you go, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching sticking with me. Uh, hope it's been cool. Just keep learning, keep working hard, and have fun, all right? If you have any questions, ask me on Discord and stuff. I know I haven't been answering all the questions on YouTube and stuff. Still, I just, I'm, I'm trying... But there's so many of them, so it's kind of it's kind of overwhelming. But I'll I'll do it in my in my own time. But uh, but until then, thank you still so much for the support. I really appreciate all the nice comments and all that stuff. Thank you very much. Just take care, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right, bye bye.